Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be straightening my hair for, this is the first time in about two years now, and I'm going to be using this straightening hairbrush. But before I straighten my hair, I'm going to go ahead and kind of prep my hair. Um, so I already washed, conditioned, deep conditioned my hair. So I'm starting off with parting my hair. I'm parting it all the way down the middle and I'm just using my nail. I didn't feel like using a comb. So I'm parting it all the way down the middle here and then putting one side up, marking one side at a time. From there, I'm parting that section out. Um, I tried to make the line as straight as I could. It didn't have to be 100% straight, but that's what that section looks like. And I'm using my blow dryer and I'm using my attachment. And I also am using this comb or this brush and then some oil. I'm first oiling my scalp with this castor oil. You can use whatever oil you want. But I'm using that and then I'm uh, brushing the hair out first. I know it's dry, but I'm trying to get all the water. I'm trying to brush it out first just so I don't have too much to do when I use the blow dryer, you know. So yeah, I'm using this brush and brushing that hair out. Um, this one's a lot easier to use than my, I know before I used a Denman brush. This brush I love so much. I heard a lot of people say like this doesn't work for them, but it works for me. And now I'm using, I kind of skipped this step, but I'm using this Tresemme um, like heat protectant. And I'm putting that through the hair and then I'm uh, starting with the blow dryer now. I'm not, I don't, I haven't used a blow dryer like this and had to blow dry my hair like in a while. And then even the other time that I did it, that was my first time. So this is probably my second time doing this. So I may not do it right or correctly, but that's how I do it. Um, it wasn't 100% dry either because I kind of wasn't doing it right, but... Uh, eventually I did get it dry. It just took a little bit longer to do so, but once I finished blow drying that section, I am braiding it up. So I'm just doing a three strand braid. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys this part right here. I'm repeating the same steps on this section, but I'll just let you guys watch it for now. Now I'm finishing up that last section there and braiding it down. Now I'm using my blow dryer and I put the diffuser attachment on there and I'm blow drying the roots of my hair. That's the main part that kind of is still a little bit wet at the end, but I'm just blow drying that and making sure it's dry. Um, so then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and unbraid all the braids that I did. I had to still go back in with that blow dryer. Um, I did it off camera, but it was still a little bit wet at the roots, but I made sure it was all dry when I finished. This is what my hair looks like once I finished. Um, it's very poofy and puffed out. And this is what the straightening brush looks like. This is what the packaging and the brand and everything is. And then when you open it up, um, it slides up like so. And then inside it has the actual straightener in a bag or the brush in a bag. Um, and then it also comes with this glove. This is for like touching when you wanna actually touch the straightening brush. And then it also comes with another brush. I didn't end up using it, but you know, if you want to use it, you can. Um, and then this is the actual brush. Um, I didn't zoom in or show like the buttons on it, but it's like a plus button, a minus button, like, you know, turn the heat up, turn it down. Um, then I did also plug it into the wall and then it tells you when it's ready with like a blinking light. All right, now I'm taking the first section and I'm combing through it first or brushing through it first. This is kind of a bigger section, but I wanted to see how it would take a section this big, you know? Um, so I'm just running the uh, brush through it. I didn't get like the top part there. You can see it's not um, in the brush, but I'm slowly going over it. I'm um, trying to only do one pass, but I had to end up doing like one more after this, but that's what it looked like with one pass with a bigger section. Um, and then from there, I'm just continuing on with that uh, part of my hair. 
and I'll just let it play. You guys can just watch me um, go in with the straightening brush. I did kind of on the more on the ends. I went in twice because I'm going to cut my hair anyways. I'm like cutting the ends off anyway, but I didn't really care that much. I just went over it, whatever, because they're going to end up, you know, getting cut off. So also I switched over to a fine tooth comb. Um, it was a lot easier using that versus the brush. It was just, it got more of the tangles out, but I'm continuing that. Um, my sections are kind of getting a little bit bigger because at the same time, I was trying to get this done and over with. In my head, using a straightening brush means it's going to go by a lot faster versus using a flat iron. So I did take a little bit of bigger sections um, throughout this part, but that's what that part looks like. Once I finish, um, I went ahead and twisted it up and put it into a little clip there. And I'm moving on to the top sections. And then this is what that side looks like. It is a little puffy on the bottom. I do need to cut my hair at the same time. So I'm not gonna blame that on the straightening brush cause my ends are bad. So that's like the difference of what my hair looks like the right and the left. Um, I went ahead and finished that side off camera. Again, you see the ends are kind of puffy at the bottom, but I just have to cut my hair and that will get taken care of. Now I'm taking my hair and putting it into a first a ponytail and then I'm tightening um, my hair, like wrapping it around. I wanted to kind of have like curls or waves when I took it out. So I went ahead and did that and clipped it down. Came back a couple, it was like a couple hours later, I wanted my hair to sit. And then I went ahead and did my edges. Um, I didn't do too dramatic edges too much, you know, with that. Just cause I'm using like this pomade stuff and I didn't want my hair to start, you know, curling up at the top, so. So now I'm taking my hair out of the ponytail or the bun and I'm just kind of fluffing it out. I'm using my fine tooth comb. I'm trying not to mess up the curls. They ended up kind of turning into waves, but it's fine. Um, so I'm kind of brushing it out, smoothing it down. Um, and yeah, this is what it looks like when I finished. If I was going to wear this out, I probably would go back over with a flat iron and make sure it's a little bit more bone straight. But this looks pretty good uh, for me. This is what it looks like in the back. Um, and then at the ends, that's how long it is. Um, I did cut it here. Um, but I did end up cutting a lot more like later on in the week. So, but this is what it looks like um, in the back again on the side. So I feel like it came out pretty nice. If you guys do try out the straightening brush, uh, let me know how it works for you. But with all that being said, hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos and more content from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.